We're talking about the rights of the road. Subhanallah. It pains me to say this, but it's a reality. People who blatantly do not have the knowledge required, the Islamic knowledge that Allah requires us to have, to give the road its haqq. They don't park properly. We see this. They litter the streets. We see this. They decide whilst they're driving that there's a friend that they want to speak to. They stop the car in the middle of the road and start chatting to their friend. And if you nudge them on, they swear you and get upset with you and it turns into road rage. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. <laughs> Where does this come from? Not from the Quran and not from the Sunnah. Perhaps very poor upbringing, Wallahu al -musta'an. But this is the reality that we see. And not just with young people, but with adults, with people who have children and maybe grandchildren. If this is how we are when we are with our own people, may Allah make things easy. How will we be when we travel to other lands? But coming back to the initial point, remember what you're not allowed to do. Go where your values as a Muslim will be preserved and manage yourself in a manner that will show the reality of Islam. The non-Muslims don't read Quran. They don't read Hadith. They read what they see. They read you and I. And we have to make sure that our book is a good read. Because the speed of light is faster than the speed of sound as well. People will see us before they hear us. They will read us before they hear us. They will judge us based on what we show them about who we are and how we manage ourselves. It doesn't matter afterwards what we say to them. And if the container looks dirty, because that's what you see, then whatever you say will be treated as impure as well.